वॉट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ वन एम्पियर करंट इट इज द फंडामेंटल क्वान्टिटी एंड इट्स डेफिनेशन वॉज गिवन इन द इयर नाइनटीन फोर्टी एट विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द करंट फ्लोइंग इन कंडक्टर एंड द फोर्स एक्सर्टेड बिटवीन दैम लेट इज फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट एक्चुअली हैपन्स टू द कंडक्टर वेन करंट फ्लोज थ्रू इट बिफोर दैट देर आर समम्शन द कंडक्टर विच यू कंसिडर शुड हैव मिनिमम क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया एंड इट शुड बी इन्फाइनाइटली लॉन्ग प्रैक्टिकली इट शुड बी वेरी लॉन्ग कंडक्टर्स नाउ लेट इज बिगिन सी दीज आर कंडक्टर्स एंड वेन करंट फ्लोज थ्रू इट देर एग्जिस्ट अ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इन दिस डिरेक्शन विच इज गिवन बाय राइट हैंड थम रूल इफ योर थम points towards the flow of current then the fingers the direction of fingers will show you the direction of magnetic field when these two conductors are considered and their magnetic field is observed closely then you can see that for these conductor magnetic field is pointing downward direction while for these conductor magnetic field is pointing upward direction if you are considering these points so what happens here magnetic field is having one terminal that is we can say south pole then here magnetic field will be having a north pole so obviously these two conductors will get attracted towards each other and the definition is depending on this force of attraction let us see now when these conductors are at 1 meter distance from each other there exists an attractive force between these two conductors when current is varied such that the value of force becomes exactly equals to 2 into 10 to the power minus 7 newton between these two conductors then the current flowing in the conductors has the value of exactly 1 ampere it is technically defined as the ampere is that constant current which if maintained in two straight parallel conductors of infinite length of negligible circular cross section and placed 1 meter apart in vacuum would produce between these conductors a force equal to 2 into 10 to the power minus 7 newton per meter of length and this definition was given in the year 1948 thank you